Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John from Impact Innovation Group, and we're working with the Queensland Government to deliver a series of webinars on behalf of the Office of Small Business. Today's webinar topic is ATO Digital Services with our guest presenter, Vonica Fajardo from the Australian Taxation Office. Just while we're waiting for other people to connect into the webinar, I'll go through some of the tools we'll be using for those people who haven't used or viewed a webinar before or have used the Citrix GoTo webinar systems before. Your screen should look like this, a slide in the center and a control panel or dashboard on the right. This control panel will collapse automatically when you're not using it. So to keep it open, just click the view menu up the top and uncheck auto hide control panel. During the webinar, we may ask you questions to better understand your experience with the topic. To respond to these questions, we will ask you to raise your hand. To do that, just click on the little hand icon on the side of the control panel here. And remember to lower your hand afterwards just by clicking on the same icon again. We will also encourage everyone to please ask questions about any of the content uh, featured here today. Just so that the webinar can flow smoothly and we stick to the time allocated, we would prefer to answer all questions at the end of the webinar. However, please feel free to type your questions as they occur to you. Just so we can test this function, and if you're having any prob uh, problems with the broadcast, could we please all press the blue raise your hand icon just so I can test it? Lovely, lovely. Looks like it's all working. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. We also have some handouts for you, which can be downloaded, accessed and downloaded in this section here. Veronica has kindly agreed to share her slide deck with all of us, and they have been specifically prepared to help you better understand today's content. They will not be available after to, after to download after the webinar, so please um, download the presentation before you go. During this presentation, you will have the opportunity to engage with a few questions posed by our presenter. Click on your selection to submit a response to the poll question so that Veronica can better understand your needs. So now it's time to bring on today's our presenter. Veronica has been part of the Australian Taxation Office since 2002 in various roles such as auditor, risk analyst and job ready trainer prior to becoming a presenter in her current role with the small business education, prevention and support area. She has an accounting degree and obtained a certificate for in group based training, which she continually utilizes in all her roles, all her roles in the Australian Taxation Office. Veronica is passionate about educating, empowering, and enabling small business to succeed. So Veronica, welcome to the webinar. Thanks, John. And uh, hello, welcome to all to this introduction webinar. And uh, my name is Veronica again. And today's webinar is intended to provide you with information about some of our digital services for small business. I'll provide you with general information and you should seek professional advice in relation to your specific needs. All right. Australians say that to meet expectations, the ATO needs to improve interactions and provide easy access. Before in the 80s, there was no internet, no mobile, and the only way to interact with the ATO was by phone, letter, or in person. But technology has changed the way we communicate. communicate. Today, I'll give you a bit of an overview of what the ATO is doing to support small businesses, particularly in relation to ongoing improvements in our digital tools and services. So we are now giving people what they need when they need it in their digital channel of choice. But before we start, um, just to have an idea as to how many of you have used our digital services, please, um, John, if you can launch poll one. So ladies and gentlemen, just uh, click on the response or that best uh, attributes to you. You can send, select, select multiple um, uh, options there, uh, just so we have an idea of uh, how we can best structure the following content. Okay. 
Okay, it's looking like about 80% promoted. So um, looking at that, uh, Veronica, looking about 43% have used the small business new newsroom and then a further 29% with the small business assist and 14% with the Let's Talk uh, program. All right, thanks, John. So no one has used the business assistance program and the record keeping tool evaluation yet? All right, so we will discuss the most commonly used that you have said you have, and we will um, look at the other ones that you haven't utilized it so, and find out what benefit it will give you. Okay, thanks for answering the poll. So the ATO has a comprehensive suite of digital services and resources to help you in your small business. If you type in ato.gov.au into your web browser, that will direct you to the ATO website, which is your gateway to the ATO information, support, products, and services, and that will save you time. From this web page, you can see the small business support so that you can see now on your screen. Okay, let's have a look more closely at just into some features that you can access from the ato.gov.au web page. So Alex, the virtual assistant, it appears on the bottom right hand side of the of all the ato.gov.au pages. It is designed to answer general tax and super questions. So you have just to type in your question and Alex will give you the answer or point you in the right direction. And for those of you, you already have used the small business newsroom, but for others, it is there for you to just click on subscribe now and it is for free. This was designed with uh, small business people who told us that they wanted something simple and quick and also regular and reliable. We publish plain English articles on the website. so. Once you have subscribed, we will um, keep you up to date with the latest tax and super news and information by sending you every few weeks an email so you don't have to go searching for news. You can easily and quickly scan the email for items of interest as well, and then you can link to more detail if and when you choose. On the website, you can also read other articles of interest or use our key dates feature, as you can see on the one of the tabs there, to set up reminders in your business calendar. And uh, some of you or have said that they have used the small business assist. This is another tool that provides easy access to information on a range of topics. So type in the question in here in that search bar and it will provide tailored information from a range of websites in an easy to read format. And if you type in here, we have a live chat service. The live chat allows you to have real time online conversations with the ATO officer who can provide you guidance and information on general business related topics. This service is for general and account specific inquiries. So if you need any account specific inquiries, make sure that um, you have all the identification that you need because we need to protect your privacy. The web, so, uh, the web chat is available from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Monday to Friday, Australian Eastern Standard Time, and also on Saturdays, 10 to 2 p.m. except on public holidays. Or you can also use the free after hours callback service to get the help you need at the time that's convenient for you. So simply select this option in here that you can see now with a red circle to complete an online booking form. This is available from Monday to Thursday between 6 to 8 p.m. And because the ATO provides different learning resources for free, you can choose according to your learning style and time commitment. You can watch a video on a lot of different tax and super topics on ATO TV at your convenience. These are just short videos, generally only a few minutes long, giving a good basic introduction on a range of topics. Well, it seems that everyone has a YouTube channel these days, so the ATO is not to be left behind. So just type in ATO TV and that should bring you to that site. 
And you may also attend a webinar online. There are more, these are more extensive learning experiences. We have different topics ranging from introduction to tax basics, um, income tax deductions, home-based business, motor vehicle deductions, to mention a few. And this is for you who are either just starting a business or thinking about starting a new business, or maybe you just want to update your knowledge. Okay, so if you want to check the webinar topics, just search atl.gov.au forward slash webinars, as you can see on screen, to book the sessions that's most relevant to you. It's generally about 45 to 90 minutes long. Or you can also attend a workshop in person. The times and dates of approaching seminars around the country can be found on our Let's Talk page, and this is listed by state. So we have three standard topics that run from 90 minutes to three hours, where we provide information about tax essentials, record keeping, and employer essentials. We will also show you online tools and resources that can help you. And through this, you can have a chance to ask questions, and it is a great opportunity for you to network. It's a great avenue. And we are trialing the new ATO community forum. As um, no one has said that they have tried this, yes, this is really a new product. This platform lets you ask general questions and view answers at a time that's convenient to you. You'll receive an email once you've asked questions within 24 hours to let you know when the answers have been posted on your question. So you don't have to wait on the phone to get the information that you want. You can also search if someone else has already asked a similar question. You can be confident that the information is correct on post with our ATO certified badge. Responses that have been ATO certified have been reviewed by our support team. So that means you are provided with the best possible information to help answer the question. The answers are clear and easy to read. They do not contain financial advice because we are not to give you financial advice, but will provide you links to useful information. Our support base contains people with a range of knowledge and experiences so your contributions and experience can help others who are just starting out. So if you want to check that out, that is the address, community.ato.gov.au. And another program that um, I think no one said that they have tried this, the Business Assistance Program. This is another source of support for small businesses that have recently registered for an ABN or registered for GST, or is likely to register for GST in the near future. And if you have a turnover, meaning your total income that you generate from running your business is less than two million. So this program offers tailored tax support over a 12 month period, and it will provide you three check-in points where one-on-one -on -one support is provided over the phone. So you can register for business assistance on the ATO website. Just again, ato.gov.au is our gateway. And on the search facility, enter business assistance program. Also available through the ato.gov.au are many tools and calculators. And one of them is the employee contractor tool. So if you hire a worker, it is important to check whether they are an employee to whom you will pay salary or wages, or if they are a contractor whose invoice you will pay. Both have different um, super and tax obligations, and the difference between the two is based on several factors. So it would be good for you to check. Because businesses that incorrectly hire workers as contractors risk penalties and charges. So you can use our online employee contractor decision tool to get an answer about whether your workers are employees or contractors. It is free and anonymous and easy to use. So whenever, whatever information you get in there, the tax office won't have any um, access to that. It is for you, for you to use. 
And another tool is the ATO record keeping evaluation tool. I think from memory, no one has um, actually used this as well. It will help you evaluate how well you're keeping your records. So if you go into this tool, you will be asked a series of questions and at the end it will give you an evaluation report describing how well you're keeping your business records. So it will tell you if you're keeping to the minimum requirement and if not, it would provide you suggestions for improvement. Again, any information you enter into this tool is for your own benefit only. We cannot access any information that you put into the tool. And we have the ATO app. The ATO app is compatible with most smartphones and tablets. So you simply download the ATO app to your smart device. There are three segments there, individual, small business, and super. So these segments provide access to information on common tax matters and links to additional information on the web where required. So some of the ATO app features include My Deductions tool, Business Performance Check, and other tools and online services. So if you're an individual taxpayer or a small business owner or self-managed super fund trustee, you can access this tool in one place. So this can be used by the small business sole traders with um, simple tax affairs. So one of the features is that My Deductions, it makes it easier and more convenient for you to keep your tax deductions and income records all in one place. So individuals claiming general or employee work-related expenses can use the tool. Sole traders with simple tax affairs, meaning you, ha um, you don't have primary production business or you don't have any personal services income and associated personal services expenses. Okay, so with this My Deductions tool, you can quickly record your business income. You can capture the receipts because we have that um, photo and classify the records and store the photos of your receipts. You can record your car trips and from this, you can email all those detailed records to your tax agent or if you're doing yourself, uh, if you're lodging the return yourself, you can upload the records to the ATO for pre-filling into your tax return. You can personalize your deductions if you use it as an employee or a sole trader. But again, just to emphasize, this cannot be used by um, companies or trusts. But like any other software that you use, there are a number of app and tool functions that you need to be aware of before using my deduction. So you can learn more about this by watching our video to see how the tool works in action. Okay, so other features, um, the business performance check tool. With this tool, you would um, be asked for your industry or business type and some of your financial data. The business performance tool would provide you then a snapshot shot of your prof profitability, cash flow, working capital, and debt serviceability to help you understand the financial health of your business. It compares your performance against similar businesses in your industry using our uh, extensive uh, benchmark database. Okay, and from the ATO app as well, you can check the ABN lookup. So this is a tool that will allow you to search for uh, businesses ABN and you can view other public information about the business. From that app, you can also check the super guarantee contributions, super guarantee eligibility and Another calculator would be the tax withheld calculator. And you can also check some frequently asked questions from the app. And uh, you can also do the voice authentication. So if you are an individual or sole trader, 
this is a fast and easy way to confirm your identity when you call or when you use our app. So you would have to set it up and all you have to do is say, in Australia, my voice identifies me. So you, we would not need any more of your user ID and password. And I think it's uh, now a time for uh, poll two, John. If we can launch poll two now. Not a problem. So most like last time, ladies and gentlemen, please select the option that best uh, uh, kind of aligns with what you think and feel. Yeah, just keep in mind you can choose multiple responses. So if all of those apply to you, please feel free to check all boxes. Just over half. People looking a bit shy, but um, we're currently sitting at 60%. Um, it seems the majority of people would be using the app to record business income and out expenses and record car trips, although it's pretty equal between the input deductions, pre filled tax returns, and input information about company expenses. So across the board, it looks pretty, pretty solid, Veronica. Okay, thanks, John. So as we have um, mentioned earlier, the ATO app functionality has been extended to do all those different types that you have seen on screen. But at this stage, it is only available to individuals and sole traders with simple tax affairs, which means that the last bit, you cannot record information for a company. So we, you are not able to do that at this stage for the ATO app. Thanks again, John, for that. And the succeeding slides now will show you support and changes for reporting obligations. SuperStream. In 2014, SuperStream was announced by the government aiming to improve the efficiency of the superannuation system. It has involved a significant shift from largely manual transactions to an easier system of paying employee superannuation guarantee contributions to super funds. So with SuperStream, money and data are sent electronically in a standard format. And the next one would be the Small Business Superannuation Clearinghouse. This is a free optional service administered by the ATO for businesses with 19 or less employees and a turnover of less than 10 million. You can make your regular super guarantee contributions as a single electronic payment to the SBSCH, which is a the acronym for Small Business Superannuation Clearinghouse. It will then distribute the payments to each employee's super fund. The clearinghouse distributes to the employee's super fund, so which means that even if your employees have got different uh, super funds, then it would be um, distributed by the tax office through the clearinghouse. So you can register for the Small Business Super Clearing house via the ATO website. Okay, so this is only available for those with 19 or fewer employees and a business turnover of less than 10 million. Okay, now this another reporting change for employers is the single touch payroll. 
It means that employers will not report payments such as salaries and wages, the pay as you go withholding and super information to us directly from the payroll solution at the same time that they pay their employees. So for employers with 20 or more employees, the single touch payroll reporting starts from the 1st of July 2018. The first year will be a transition and penalties will not apply. But you may need to update your payroll solution to report through the single touch payroll. The Australian government has announced that it will expand the single touch payroll to include employers with 19 or fewer employees from the 1st of July 2019. So that's the year after. But of course, this is still subject to legislation being passed on parliament. So if you have a MyGov account, you can access the government services through online using ATO online services, which you can also access through the ATO app. So it offers functionality for individuals and sole traders, again with simple tax affairs, to fulfill a large range of obligations without the need for an OSCE or a desktop computer. So users can view their tax account details, you can prepare, view, and revise activity statements and installments. You can manage your PAYG installments. You can make payments, set up payment plans, maintain details such as your addresses and contact information, and of course, you can lodge via MyTax. The Small Business Portal is the gateway to the ATO's online services for uh, business taxpayers. It provides easy and convenient 24-hour access to information and allows practitioners to transact with the ATO in a secure online environment. You need to have an OSCE or manage ABN connections to um, use the portal. So your credential is a secure login and identifies you when you use participating government online services on behalf of a business. So it ensures the security and privacy of information when interacting with us via the portal. The business portal is a main tool for businesses so to deal with the ATO online. So you can prepare and launch activity statements, annual reports, and manage your accounts and update your business registration details through this um, service as well. The standard business reporting, or SBR, is a standard approach to online or digital record keeping that was introduced by the government back in 2010 to simplify business reporting obligations. So SBR extracts information that has been recorded in business or accounting software as part of running your business, and then it pre-fills it into the relevant government reports, such as your business activity statement, tax return, your payment summaries, taxable payment annual report. And directly from your SBL ena SBR enabled uh, business accounting software true to us. So hence it reduces your preparation and submission to a matter of seconds. So to find out whether your software is SBR enabled, you can view the software business reporting product register or talk to your software provider. But to find out more about how SBR can benefit your business, visit sbr.gov.au. And that brings us to our third poll. John, I think that's the last slide for today. And we just have one last poll. Very simple poll, true or false? <laughs> oh, pretty even slid at the moment. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, leading towards more false than true. Okay. Okay. Back to 50 50. All right.
looking like we're sitting at 50-50. Well, 50-50. Most polls, 60-40. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to close the polls in three, two, one. So closing out at 60% false, 40% true. Okay. Thanks for that, John. All right, for those who said false, chocolate's all to you. Yes, it is false. Uh, all small business employers are required to be super stream compliant. So that means they would have to be reporting electronically. However, the use of the ATO small business superannuation clearinghouse is optional. It is a free optional service for small businesses. You can use the ATO superannuation clearinghouse or a different, you can go through your tax agent or somewhere else to do um, the to use their clearing house. Okay, so the answer is full. And thank you for your answers for that. And so that brings us now, John, to our question and answer portion. Lovely. Thank you so much for that, Veronica. Um, this it, it's it's invaluable how much um, the ATO and taxation. Uh, means to small business and having it kind of simplified and understanding the, the tools and processes and programs available to you, it's now easier than ever to actually manage that. So thank you very much for providing that. Um, we do have a first couple of questions, but if in the meantime, if you any questions do come to you, please uh, feel free to post them up into the question section in front of you. Um, our first question actually comes from Matthew M. Uh, I'm looking to start a small business can I receive taxation advice or insight without having an, a current ABN? Can you please repeat that, John? Uh, starting a small business, and the question is, can they um, get... Uh, can, I, can, I, can I receive taxation advice or insight without having a current ABN? So if you are just in the process of starting, your business, the tax office would not be able to provide you financial advice. So we suggest that you go to a financial advisor for that. But you can check. There's a lot of support from the ato.gov.au website as to when you are just starting a business, what types of registration you need, um, what um, licenses you would need. And apart from the ATO website, the other website would be the business.gov.au. If you go onto that website, they will give you a step-by-step -step process on to just planning on how to start your business and all that. And uh, maybe if you would be interested in uh, attending the webinar Introduction to Tax Basics or um, one of our workshops, the face-to-face -face work workshops on tax essentials, you would pick up something from there. But it would not be a specific financial advice. Sure. Um, okay, Does that another question? question. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, yes. it, it, it's a valid point that, um, at the very least, it, it gives an idea of how to set up a business if you don't have a current ABN. Um, Karen McGee would like to know, uh, I have an Auskey. What is what is benefit of having uh, a MyGov account? So um, are you a sole trader with um, just simple tax affairs? Uh, Karen, if you're able to Karen? answer that. No, she's a partner. A partner. OK. So, it's, so as a partner, she may be able to use the difference is that with the OSCE, um, we have a few issues with OSCE as to uh, accessibility and all that. That's why we are actually going through the Manage ABN Connections. And you can only go through that if you have, if you go through the MyGov account. So if you are actually just using it is it for the partnership that you are looking at or for yourself? Because if it is for your individual return, 
as a partner, you should be able to access it without OSCE if you have a MyGov account. And that just makes it a lot easier for you. Through the MyGov account, and then you can go on to the online services quick enough without using an OSCE. So you can even use the voice authentication for that one. Um, thank you. Uh, we've got a question here, I think, from Jeff. Um, the My Deductions uh, tax tool is only for sole, tra uh, sole traders, not companies. Uh, we have both that are connected. Can I still use the, um, still use that for the tool? The My Deductions tool, yes, as we have emphasized, is only um, designed at this stage for sole traders with simple tax affairs. So, yes, by all means, you can use it as a sole trader, but for your company, because uh, My Deductions tool would only allow you to record for your um, individual tax individual return or your business return, but for the company, you may be able to utilize your device, like for recording purposes, but then you would have to have it set up for, send it to your tax agent for your company record, but not, you cannot upload it for your, in, for your company. You can only upload the deductions tool for your individual return. So the company would not be able to use that. But some people still use it as a record keeping tool and um, they just do the backup on their, you know, you can do a backup on your hard drive through that, but then you must just make sure that you have it separate for your company and for your individual business as a sole trader. Awesome. Um, Sean Gilmore here would like to ask, uh, is there a tool that can help me plan my tax for my business? Um, what do you mean by plan your tax for your business? We have um, a calendar there that would allow you to set up reminders for your deadlines or due dates for whatever obligation you have with the tax office. Let's say you have business activity statements that you have to lodge quarterly. You can set up a reminder to yourself, but I do not know what uh, planning you mean about your business, but in relation to reminders for those due dates, then there is actually a facility on the app for that one. Um, okay, uh, Laura would like to ask, um, if I have multiple businesses, will these uh, tools help me manage my two business, businesses tax or um, do I have to have separate accounts for each uh, business? So you have multiple businesses as a sole trader or are you, do you have multiple businesses as oh, a sole company? Trader. Sole, sole trader, yes. So with sole traders, you can personalize your account. So you can put it on separate accounts under My Deduction. So if you are to utilize the My Deductions tool for record keeping, then you can personally, you can personalize your deduction. Okay, so you would be able to still manage that, but you would have to yeah, personalize it and say, yep, yeah, this one is for, you can, maybe title it, this is business one uh, expense, this is business one income, and so on, business two income, business two expense, so that you can actually separate them, so that when you back them up, it because it comes up as a CSV file for you, so you can see and you can filter it according to your different businesses. Excellent. Um, one final one um, from Travis here. Uh, with the ATO app, do I need to be connected online to get its full functionality, or can I be on offline and still input my data? Oh, that's the thing, yes. With the ATO app, you would have to be online to mm -hmm. be able to use it, yes. Okay. Um, and 
Ashley here would like to know, can I utilize these tools with the help of the submission of my tax return? I think you've already covered that. Um, if you're asking for help to lodge, is it asking for help to lodge yeah, the return? return yeah. uh, because you are able to lodge your return via um, the ATO app, then online services, there's something there. But if you are really wanting a step-by-step -step guide on how to lodge it to make sure, you can call the tax office for support on that one if, um, if you're after the technicality of it. But if you're after asking, are you actually putting the correct details, then I would suggest that yep, you may have to speak to a tax agent or you can actually also book one-on-one um, -on -one visit. If you are a small business um, sole trader, you can book a one-on-one -on -one visit through the ato.gov.au website and just click on one-on-one -on -one visit. It should give you a link to a form that you would have to complete. So the, and someone will call you and organize a one-on-one -on -one visit for you if you have issues with lodging your income tax return with you know business income or problems with your activity statements, anything that are business related, they should be able to help you out. And one here from uh, Marisha, um, is there a resource on the ATO website that lists out um, uh, regional uh, tax agents that can help me with one-on-one -on -one discussions? Tax agents that are you're after. I would suggest that maybe go to the Tax Practitioners Board because this is a, a, not a tax office website because we, mm -hmm. we do not endorse uh, any tax agents for that matter. So you would have to check the Tax Practitioners Board website because that would be a complete list of all registered tax agents. And Excellent. you should be able to filter it by state. Awesome. Well, it looks like we can end this there, unless anyone has any other questions. I'm looking pretty quiet. OK, thank you, everyone, for attending the webinar today. Please remember to download all the handouts before you exit. This webinar is being recorded and will be uploaded to the Impact Innovation Group YouTube page should you wish to view it again. Um, you will receive an email uh, after this webinar with information about the Office of Small Business programs that support small business with a short survey that will help us tailor these webinars to meet your interests and needs. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Veronica, for giving and donating your time and providing some great insight into what, AT what the ATO is providing small business owners. And have a great day. Thanks, John, and thanks, everyone.